are in the middle of remote learning, one thing that you will quickly learn is that not all of your activities that you complete for class will be done on the computer. A lot of times your teacher will ask you to take a picture of work that you've completed with paper and pencil and submit that in Google Classroom. Let's take a look at how we do that. In the classroom that I'm in right now, my teacher has given this assignment called Show Your Work Practice Number One. I can see the directions say to use the camera app to take a picture of my work, and then I can add my picture to this post to turn it in. So there's two steps to this activity. First, I have to take a picture of my work, and second, I have to attach that picture to this assignment. For the first part, we need to find our camera app. Our apps are all located in the app launcher, which is the little circle in the bottom corner of our Chromebook. I click the app launcher, and I have three ways that I can possibly find the app I'm looking for. One of the ways is using the search box and simply typing in what I'm looking for. I happen to know that this app is called Camera, and so I can start typing the word Camera and find that app. Another way that I can find the app that I'm looking for is to hit the little up caret, and that is going to expand my app launcher and show me all of the apps that I have loaded to my account. I can see that I have four pages worth of apps. This is unique to my account, and you might have the same number, you might have more, and you might have less. By clicking through each of these dots on the right-hand side, I can see the different apps that I have available and I can search through until I find the one that I want. So in this case, here's the camera app. Lastly, when I go to the app launcher, if I have recently used the camera, I might notice it right here in this list of recently used applications. Now, if you haven't used it before, you won't see it here, but I just recently did, and so it's the very first app in my list. It does not matter if I type the app in, if I click it from the recently used apps, or if I expand and find it in my full apps list, any of those ways will get me to my camera app. So I need to click on that app and open it up. When it does, obviously there I am on the screen, and what I need to do is give my teacher a picture of my work. So here's a picture my daughter drew for me. This is what I'm gonna turn in as my artwork. And so I need to hold it up and take a picture. When I hold my work up, I want to make sure that I'm as close to the screen as I can be, but I don't wanna be so close that my teacher can't see all of the work. If I was to take a picture right here, that would not be very helpful for my teacher because she's missing a lot of the drawing. So instead, I wanna make sure that I'm zoomed out and my, I'm holding my work far enough away that we can see the entire page. Then what I can do is I can use the space bar on my keyboard to take the picture. You saw the little flash right there, which says my picture's taken. At that point, I can close the camera app and I can return to Google Classroom to turn it in. I have my assignment right here, so what I need to do is click View Assignment to open it up. In here, I need to choose Add or Create. I have the button right here to Add or Create. I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to add is a file. The photo that I just took is going to be in my files. I'll get the pop-up box here. And at this point, I can choose to upload the file from my Chromebook. When I first take the picture, it's going to save to my Chromebook and not my Google Drive. And so I have to upload it from my device. So I click Upload and Browse and it is going to show me a list of all of the file types and the files that I have on my computer. Because I just took this picture, when it opens, it's likely going to be in downloads, and I can see this picture I just took right now, taken today, taken just two minutes ago, and so I know this is my right picture. If for some reason you don't see the picture that you're looking for, know that you can click on images over here on the left side, and it will show all of the images, including the one that I just took. It does not matter where you choose that image from, just make sure that you choose the right one. Click on the image that you want to attach and click Open.
It takes just a second to attach the file. You can see it's reading through and it's now officially attached. And so all I have left to do is click turn in and turn in one more time. At this point, my teacher will be able to see the work that I have completed on paper and be able to give me feedback for the things that I have learned. I hope this helps and happy learning.